Good evening, Wendy from Carnival Quinn here. I'm lost for words. <laughs> I am, I'm lost for words. I actually wanted to just share that um, as much as I can rave and go, rah, rah, I'm a carnival. <laughs> The um, difficulty that I'm struggling at the moment, I'm struggling on carnival. Not, not, okay, I did struggle a bit with uh, the weight loss and I had a stall and this is where I'm struggling because the stall was, after listening to Professor Tim Noakes about insulin resistance, and if one is insulin resistant, you need to keep your carbs below 25 grams per day. And I was like, oh, I'm a honey vor. I have honey in my coffee and I have hot milk in my coffee and I'm still a carnivore and I enjoy the honey in my coffee. Um, I needed the honey because um, of electrolyte kind of reasons and also because there was something about needing the honey. And I like the hot milk, my co hot milk coffee. Love hot milk coffee. I was um, shocked though when I did the carb count. How many carbs are in honey, and how little carbs are in milk? So what I was astounded when I did my calculations is my two cups of honey milky coffee morning came to thirty-two grams of carbs. So before I'd even had my third cup of milky coffee, which I didn't do honey, I needed two cups of coffee with honey. I didn't do honey in the third cup of coffee. I did just salt and butter. Um, that popped me into 32 grams of carbs per day. I was like, and that's not even adding the, the, the um, what did I put into um, um, cheese? I would, okay, so I did, I'd already restricted my cheese to weekends only. I could only have cheese on weekends, which is fine. That I could breeze. But the honey in the coffee, and it wasn't, it, it was the ritual, maybe. But what I have found, and this is what, is I am struggling with irritation and impatience um, since I stopped the honey. So I thought, oh, quite possibly it's just withdrawals. And then if you just check how long withdrawals should take from sugar, because uh, honey's got sugar in as well as other very beneficial stuff. <laughs> if you had to do a, a calculation um, how long it takes to get over sugar withdrawals, it's three days or longer three weeks or longer. I'm like, what? So I've been not having honey for longer than three weeks. And I'm still short of patience. I'm still slightly irritated. And as much as I can rah, rah, carnivore has done my pains, my aches, my cramps, uh, my weight, uh, my mood. Uh, there's so many things that have changed. But... Uh, I'm finding this last give up of a pleasure um, difficult. And I just I just want to, you know, I listen to these other guys, other carnivores that, um, that are raving about how easy it is and how wonderful and they don't have any feelings. I do. I do. I find it a little bit difficult. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to eat carbs in general don't look for, i'm not looking for that excuse me that was total moment of distraction of i heard sounds and i need, just needed to listen to the sounds i haven't locked my door yet and it's night time nightfall um not too diligent with locking my door timeously um <laughs> anyway get back i would there's, I would really like, I would be happy if I didn't have this last struggle um, that I cannot be a honeyball anymore. 
because I'm a carnivore. <laughs> no, I cannot be a honeyvore anymore because I need to be below 25 grams. And yes, I can see it's working because I'm dropping, I am dropping size now, finally after I've had a, a, a long-term weight store. I wonder if I can add the honey back. I wonder if I want to add the honey back. I probably don't want to, but I just want it to be a tad easier. And I just want to express that I'm, I'm finding this a little bit difficult to do. It's the first time I've found the carnival difficult. A little bit difficult. And I, I sort of like, there's a, there must be some level of addiction or something, but it's just, I'm finding it a little bit difficult. So I have up my electrolytes. I have my, I don't drink as much water since I stopped the, the honey. Um, so things have changed and I'm, and I, I'm, I, I have to eat less fat. I up my fat to try and fill me so I wouldn't think about the honey. And unfortunately my, my gut is not very partial to the amount of fat that I've been eating. So I had to reduce the fat. And then I'm like, oh, this is actually a little bit difficult now. Now it's getting a little bit difficult. Okay, so my weight loss was 20, let's say 23 kilograms. And the, uh, the 25 and then back up, then I put on a little bit of weight the last time I weighed. And I went to 23. So I'm just quoting 23 kilograms. It's a lot. It's a lot, lot, lot. I feel wonderful. I look even better than wonderful um, to myself. And, but... However, I needed, to, I wanted to lose another 10 kilo. I wanted to get down to, yeah, I don't think I needed to quite lose another 10. I think I needed, I need now to lose another seven. So if I had got to 60 kilograms, I would have wanted to get to 55. Um, so which make, it's seven, I need another seven kilograms down, but it's more size, it's more shape what I look like as opposed to what the scale says. So I want, would like a little bit more. Um, but I'm finding it difficult, this last bit. And, you know, a lot of the carnivores that I watch, the YouTube channels I watch, it's like everybody's, rah, rah, it's so easy, we're doing this. Yes, we can. Yay, yay, yay. And I'm like, yay. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to say that I am finding it a bit difficult now. And maybe it's winter. Um, maybe it's winter. And maybe I think I'm working too hard. I think because of the energy is so, it's beautiful energy. It's constant from when you wake up until you go to sleep. It's beautiful, constant, even level energy. It is the most, it's such a blessing. So you see, I know this. I know this. I know how wonderful it feels to be where I'm at. But I can tell you, it's like I sit here and then I'm like, oh, oh. And I don't know what I'm missing because I never drank the honey at night. Um, but it's I miss it. I'm missing something all day in the eating department. All day. I'm missing something. I'm not craving. I wouldn't call it craving because it doesn't feel like a craving. But it's like... I, it's like I come home, at, I can come home at lunchtime. So I come home and I'm like, oh, I think I must eat something. And I'm like, yeah, well, you can have your lunch. Because I was eating three meals a day. I don't eat three meals a day anymore. I do two. So I have something for breakfast and then um, skip lunch and then have something for supper. Um, but I come home at lunch and think, oh, you can. And I'm like, I'll have, have lunch. You know, it's not a problem. Have lunch. Then I'm like, okay, I'll have lunch. And then I eat lunch and then I'm like, what was that other thing I wanted? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not hungry. Anyway, I upped the fat, which upset my stomach, so I had to reduce the fat. <laughs> and I stopped eating lunch and then I added it in and then I stopped. Um, it's like I'm, I'm not settled. I'm not settled that I don't have a carnival routine. I don't have a, I don't, I'm just not settled. So I just need to express that out there that yes, I don't think the journey is entirely easy. I think mine's been reasonably easy up until now, up until this honey war. Oh, drop the honey, 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 drop the honey. Um, I do want to drop the milk 
actually, I, this is consciously want to drop the milk. Um, unless I can get raw, unpasteurized milk, real full cream milk, then I'll carry on with the milk. But I do actually want to drop the pasteurized, homogenized, and all of those nice to the milk. And I'm not sure if the dairy herd that I get the milk from is getting too many hormones and supplements and blah to make it produce more milk. So, yeah, I'm not too partial to keep continue with the milk, although I am at the moment. Can't drop the milk at the same time as the honey. Yes, yeah, so I am finding my journey to be sticky now. And I think I mustn't end on a negative note. Let's end on a positive note. And I did rave about the positive. I'm so much stronger. I'm so much um, fitter. My knees, um, my these, I don't have aches and pains. I do have a, anyway, positive, positive, positive. This is what I'm talking about. I'm tending to be slightly negative, tending to be slightly low. Like I can go raw, raw, carnival. Anyway. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I hope um, I hope this encourages somebody if they're also struggling and all these other YouTube videos are like, yay, we're doing it, it's so easy. I wonder if it's more difficult for women than for men. They say older women over 50 needs carbohydrates. I'm like, okay, but I'm insulin resistant, so then do I need carbohydrates? No. Um, Professor Tim Noakes, he's got some really amazing information. Okay, this is it. Signing off. Thanks for watching.